so so what appealed you to to invest in, uh, in New Brunswick and also also uh, talk about uh, your, your your venture about uh, investing in the states as well? Yeah, well, I find that uh, I'm sure that you guys real this has realized this as well. It's getting tougher to invest in Ontario, mm -hmm. and also um, the laws are less and less favorable for landlords yeah. in Ontario and for tenants too. Yeah, it's and not yeah, that great. They don't realize it. But. So I find that the, the law, laws there are more favorable and also you can increase rent. So it makes it so that you don't end up being a slumlord because in Ontario, like uh, if you can't increase rents, even to market rents, when you have existing uh, tenants, mm -hmm. you end up with not having much left on the plate to even maintain the property yeah you can't invest so can't change windows like we have a place we'd love to change windows but the rents are way too low so we fix them but i can't afford new new windows i mean i'm going to be paying for nothing in a way so everything nothing's broken it's not dangerous i fix everything it's it's all decent but yeah. of mm -hmm. course they could use an upgrade well in new brunswick I had a conversation with the neighbors. I was in one of our duplexes and I, the she neighbor, had, she was moving out. She was moving out. And then I'm like, Oh, can you tell me why? And she said, Oh, well, nothing's been fixed in years. I'm like, well, can we agree on a new rental price and I'll fix everything. And so mm -hmm. because you're allowed down there, we agreed on a new rent, signed a new lease and I fixed everything. Good. Oh, she has a beautiful place. She was super happy. She's like, Oh, we're going to fix the bathroom downstairs and upstairs and new floors and this and that. And I'm like, wow, this is great. So it's win-win. She gets to stay. No change of address. Yes, she's paying more, but she's getting a much nicer place. Mm -hmm. yeah. so I wish we could do the same here. Like, I don't believe in gouging people. Of course, if you increase rent, that means there is like expenses going up, property taxes, things like that. Yeah. And you're fixing the place. Every time I increase, even in Ontario, whenever... We were allowed to increase we would still fix a little something change a light fixture anything just to show them we also put like we also pitch in we're not here yeah. just to, to be yeah. super rich and like yeah. <laughs> gouge you <laughs> yeah it, it's really tough because like um anything that you uh, although you do your math uh, at the beginning but sometimes it doesn't it takes a long time to build that um you know rep repairs and maintenance sort of um yeah. reserve, reserve. reserve fund, yeah and um you know to pay for a window you might have to save for like a year right um yeah, that's, it, that's it. yeah. and that's just one window so <laughs> if like, you have a dozen imagine that i mean right yeah, yeah. yeah so it, yeah. it's i i do um i do like the fact that you can negotiate with the with the tenant and you know what? They have the option too, right? They do have the option to leave. They and, could leave, yeah. Yeah. So it's not like you know, it's a hard set rule. So I, I, I this may lead us to explore a little bit New Brunswick. Um, <laughs> and there's other provinces like Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta are all more. We they call them landlord friendly, but really, if you're a good landlord, I mean, I agree. There's some we saw some really bad stuff. Now there, there is abuse, tenant abuse, like the landlords do abuse the tenants. Mm -hmm. But then if you want to be a good landlord, you can be a good landlord. Here, it's just forcing it's people harder. to become <laughs> bad landlords in yeah. many yeah. cases. So yeah. mm -hmm. it's just hard. And the States is a similar idea. You can't increase rent. Of course, you have to give notices and things. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you can fix the place as well, which is nice. That's the whole purpose is to provide good housing somewhere safe clean decent yeah. at a good price like you don't want to go insane and, and still make money because that... yeah make money because it's a business it's yeah. not here to be friends but of course if i can be friendly and help people out then that's very important to us mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. um you you mentioned that you quit your job this year and yeah. just I from... think already <laughs> oh, yes last year okay. 2020 <laughs> yes um, and from the conversations we had in the past, you had mentioned that you were planning on doing that in years, but it happened in months instead. Yeah. Um, and I do know that you guys um, got some mentorship. Is that correct? Um, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. So talk to us about, like, first of all, your mentorship, why you decided to go with a mentor. And if that had any correlation with 
speeding up the process of achieving your goals. Yeah. Well, for sure it did. Um, because I think that when you're uh, kind of looking online, like we were at a point where we just had two properties and we were looking online, like, is there any way we can get more? I mean, we kind of feel, felt like we hit that wall. What can we do? And We had so, no deposit. It would take years. Yes, yeah, so and I thought, like, I thought to Fosso, I'm sure that there's other people that are buying more than just two or three properties and then just being satisfied with that. Yeah. So we started looking online and found more and more information, and then that's when we decided to go with the mentorship program because it does really just uh, give you that learning curve that goes even quicker. You're not looking in fooling around on the internet trying to find the information for yourself, the mentor has the information and he's giving it to you, <laughs> kind of spoon feeding you like a little baby. <laughs> yeah, but it's that boost because we had a bit of money, enough to pay for the mentoring program, but not enough for a down payment. So we're like, oh, we can wait a few years and buy another place and then wait another few years or try the program. And they say you can buy using other people's money. So yeah, like, which we well, didn't think was possible. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe that's illegal, but we'll find yes. out. I guess. Yeah, we actually thought it we'll was find illegal. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We'll find out in the program, and if it's illegal, then yeah, maybe we'll get our money back. But <laughs> okay, so you yeah. felt like mentorship really acceler accelerated your growth to achieve your. It did, and it gave us the confidence to to take action and more risk, like calculated risk. And also one big tool in the program, I think that's the biggest thing we took from it, is that it's like a spreadsheet that's all programmed. You can find your cap rates and all your, your numbers. So in five minutes, you know, well, you can analyze a deal, 30 you know seconds, it's you not, know if it's yeah. Worth, yeah. So mm -hmm. just that tool was worth it. And then the networking and meeting the people. And yeah, it was, it was yeah. a good investment. Okay, yeah. good. Yes, definitely with us as well. Like, um, we um invested in ourselves and um we we got a couple of mentors and um that and just coaches. yeah and coach so that just helped us tremendously and it's it's funny like you really don't know what you don't know right yeah and it's really hard just like you're saying like there's so much information um on the internet like personally i don't unless i know who i'm looking for let's say on youtube or whatnot um, I don't just search on the internet because there's just so much, right? And you don't know yeah. the deal yeah. and um expecting as well. Mm -hmm. So so just hearing from somebody who's walked, you know, um the walk already and they they have achieved what you may want to achieve, I think is very powerful to to learn from them. Yeah, and I read somewhere that you should look when you look for a mentor, look for someone that's about eighteen to twenty four months ahead of you. Okay. That's Don't want something super, well, that's, anyway, that's my vision. Something super crazy, like I have $14 billion and I own half of Canada, then yeah, that might be a little discouraging. But if you have someone, I have 50 or 100, like the people we chose, they had 100, 100 doors. Yeah. So, I mean, it was big, it was lofty, but it wasn't that insane. And they did it in 12 months, so we're like... Yeah. Okay, well, it, it could be doable. We didn't get there because we don't really need that much. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it's possible. And they were a couple, so you relate to them and just, mm -hmm. yeah, just find the right fit. And then when we grow to the next step, maybe we'll find someone that's got something bigger and then yeah. we'll go to that next phase and then bigger and bigger. So That's a really good tip. I never heard that before, yeah. but it's very true. Um, one thing that I do know is that when you, um, when you set a goal, you want it to be like achievable within a certain amount of time, right? Like that's, that's, that's rewarding. Yes. Right. Like it, it, it's fine to have, you know, five, 10 year goals. That's fine. Yeah. But you, you do want to see certain type of progress in three months in six months in a year so yeah. that it keeps you going to get to that five years. But if you're, you know, looking at, um, someone who's, you know, like 10 times or 10 years ahead of you, then you might feel discouraged, like, well, you know, I'm never going to get there. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. It's like saving money or losing weight or, okay, I'm going to drop 40 pounds. Well, how about 10 to start off with? Yeah, who yeah. wants to look at with somebody with a six pack? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. No, we're not there. We'll find someone that's got like a flat stomach. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Then we'll move towards like a little bit of definition. Then the six pack. So. That's absolutely true. I love the imagery right there. Awesome. 
um, it all the way is good for us right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, one thing that this show is about is really like couples, right? And relationship and marriage. Um, so I, I'm just curious to know, like, going into, into real estate investing and entrepreneurship, what has that been like and what kind of impact has it had on your marriage, if any? I think that that's something that we, we've always had a dream to work together, even when we were like when we started dating. Russell was the only guy who wasn't gay in our interior design <laughs> course. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were always doing homework and projects together, even in college. So we started out like that. And we then, liked working together. Yeah. We've had some jobs working together. We've tried starting little businesses, but never, never panned out. No, it was it didn't too work. much work. It was like those lofty goals, like 10 years in the future, we're going to make money. So we're, we always gave up after mm -hmm. a few months. We're like, ah, forget it. And this is something that we're always passionate about. And it's funny because I always find that uh, in our couple, whenever I'm like, Prospa, just let's just sell it all. I can't take it anymore. Yeah. When he feels like that, the other one will be like, no, no we can't on. do it. <laughs> so sometimes we're like five minutes apart, but... I mean, yeah. at least she said, let's keep going. Then I get really discouraged and the opposite. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's been very good for us. I know some couples, it might be very trying or very challenging. Yeah. But I found, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Worst case, we walk out and we lost everything, but we're not dead and we're still together. It's our <laughs> kids. So I'm like, yeah, it's not that bad, actually. <laughs> yeah. That mentality is so precious. Because I think um, it, it, for me, it just goes down to um, being grateful. So it's like, you, if you really think about, okay, well, mm -hmm. what am I grateful for? What do I have? We have each other. We have a roof over our head. Um, worst comes to worst comes to worst. You're still going to live. Maybe you'll find I'm a the time for a car or something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and these, these thoughts cross at least my mind as well, where I'm just like, ugh you know what, this is too much. I don't want the phone calls. I don't want anybody, like when a tenant calls you and oh, yeah. about yeah. Whatever. whatever, it doesn't even matter about yeah. what, right? But um, it can get very frustrating and it goes in ways, right? There's times yeah. where it's like all the tenants call you at the same time. And it's quiet for months. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and for months you hear nothing and you're like, oh, thank goodness. So I think it's really powerful that you guys are doing this together. Um, and that you guys are supporting each other and that you know that if, if things hit the fan, then you at least have each other, you know, that's, yeah, how, yeah. that's it. I mean, that's how we started and that's how, but that's how we're going to leave the world anyway, with nothing anyway. So <laughs> yeah, you're very, right. Very true. I can't <laughs> take it with you. Try to make the best out of it while you're here and enjoy it along the way mm -hmm. and not get greedy either. Like I'm. Yeah, I want. I, of course, I want nice things, but that's not my main goal. Our main goal is more freedom, time together, working together. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids ensure ensure a little bit of their future, like give them something to go on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's um, and help that's... others along the way. That's something I'm really passionate about. Even my our tenants, when we meet them, I tell them if you want to know mm -hmm. how to invest, ask me, and I, I'll I'll help you gladly. I'll help you get out of the apartment so I can increase your rent. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you're gone, the new tenant will pay more, but also you'll buy a house and you're contributing to Canadian society. And mm -hmm. yeah. that's it. Like it's just good for everybody and your future kids or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So. Mm -hmm. That's true. I like how you said that. Uh, so like, as far as you want to help people, so what uh, tips um, could you give to anyone who, who was, was inspiring to want to become a real estate investors themselves. So it's actually easier than it sounds. It's a lot of work, mm -hmm. but it's easier. It's more achievable. Maybe that's the better word. Yeah. It's more achievable than you think. Uh, it's surprising the resources you have. Like that's one thing the mentoring program really taught us is like to have an inventory of cash. Maybe not cash that you have, maybe credit cards, that's a bit risky, but sometimes yeah. to make a deal work, you pull money from cards and lines of credits and family members and friends and 
<laughs> it's surprising the resources you have access to like it really shocking yeah. and sometimes i can't believe it um yeah like we're more resourceful than we think and yeah, yeah. yeah. that that's very true and the the whole thing about um cash i think we ran into a situation where we needed a lot of cash like yeah. you know, <laughs> tomorrow basically and uh we had to pull from everything we had like credit cards line of credits um we empty like well we maxed out everything we had <laughs> and it, it and it worked it worked and then you know a few days later we the refinance that we were waiting for um well, we reimbursed everything exactly yeah, you need to have a plan you don't just pull out and then hope for the yeah. best i mean <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> If we weren't in that, if we hadn't been in that situation, we would have never known how much resources we actually had. Yeah. And that was, very yeah. And now I know, now I know that like, okay, well, if tomorrow, you know, I'm waiting for some kind of cash and it's not coming, I have this amount. Yeah. Um, and I think we're, we're looking to grow those, um, that limit because yeah yeah you kind of expand and mm -hmm. safely. It's kind of like I said earlier, like 18 to 24 months. So let's say it was a hundred thousand next time, 125. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then 150 and 200. And yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. In terms of real estate and like your personal lives, I think we covered a lot in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think our viewers will get a lot from, you know, just how to start real, real estate and how to, um, just invest abroad if they want. Um, so two things before we finish, um, this is not real estate or, or personal life related. I kind of wanted to ask at the beginning, but forgot. But um, if you had two, um, if you had a choice between two, two of the following things, which one would you choose? Either. <laughs> I love those questions. <laughs> yes, it's sort of like a this or that question. Um, either eat out for the rest of your life or eat in and cook for the rest of your life? Which one would you choose? Eat in and cook? Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, because yeah, eat out, I mean, after I a while you get bored, like we go on trips, we're like, oh, I can't yeah, wait to be home and Every eat. time we've gone for like on a holiday or anything, we're like, oh, after a few days of restaurant, we're like, okay, I want to eat at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm sick of this stuff, too much salt, and you don't know what they put in your food, and There's now sure. I'd better, <laughs> it's more work, but it's yeah, it's more enjoyable. Yeah. It's kind of like real estate investing. It's more work, but it, uh, the end result can be better than the restaurant. Um, Unless you're eating yeah. out at like a five star restaurant, but then I start getting worried about the price of the plate. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, like real estate as well, when you have a perfect deal, don't you find it a bit boring? Uh, so far, no. I like it when there's some challenges, some a little element of challenge to it. Oh, risk. I don't think I'm I'm there yet either. <laughs> you, you know what? We haven't had a perfect deal yet, so maybe maybe that's why. Yes. Yeah, exactly. If we get a few of those, um, then maybe we'll come back and be like, yeah, that's kind of boring, but. Give me a perfect deal all day right now, and I will. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it too, of course. But I mean, it's fun when it kind of pushes your boundary, kind of like what you said earlier about the cash and stuff. Then you know, next time we can do a bigger deal and bigger and yeah. bigger, and that's how you grow. So that's yeah. why I like that kind of a little bit of risk and challenge factor. Like, how it, far it gets your you... hands a little sweaty. Yeah, it's a good action <laughs> movie, but you're like in it, and you might actually suffer, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it's like working out and you, you suffer to build muscle that's how you build your real estate investing okay. muscles a little bit of suffering not too much you don't want to yeah <laughs> and, it, and it's all in line with uh, with that saying like you don't grow within your comfort zone you have to be uncomfortable no. to grow yes. yeah yeah be comfortable being un uncomfortable like, exactly <laughs> yes. that's awesome. the best way to grow absolutely um that was awesome, guys. If if our viewers want to connect with you, how can they find you either on Instagram or, or on Facebook? 
Oh, Frost was the social guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> so it's FL underscore Holmes underscore Corp. So FL Holmes Corporation. It's actually for family Lantier, not Francois Lantier. <laughs> so Lantier family. It's Jennifer who picked it. I'm like, this looks very um, self-centered, but it's not. <laughs> um, or Facebook, yeah, Francois Lantier. Or we have FL Holmes Corp. Jennifer, Jennifer kind of hides on her social media. <laughs> so yeah, people can reach out to us, send us a message. I'm on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. Okay. And That's on uh, Clubhouse, which is a lot of fun. So I'm really enjoying that too. Okay. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for taking, you know, some time out of your daughter's birthday to, um, <laughs> to talk to us. Um, so you've heard it already. Um, if you guys want to reach out to um, Francois and Jennifer, we'll put the, your Instagram and Facebook contacts in the link um, or in the description so that they can find you. And please reach out to them. They're very friendly and um, very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Thank as you. Well. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for having us, guys. <laughs> yeah. It was our pleasure. Yeah. So our viewers, thank you for watching, and don't forget to live your truth.